Hello, welcome. In this video, we are going to solve this problem and find the value of x that will satisfy this equation. We have 0 0.01 to the power of x and this equals 11. Now, if you have 1 divided by 100, this equals 0 0.01. And if you have 1 divided by 100, you can rewrite this as 1 divided by 10 to the power of 2. Of course, 10 to the power of 2 is 100. Now, remember if you have 1 divided by a, this equals a to the power of negative 1. So if we go ahead and apply this identity right here, that means we are going to have 10 to the power of negative 2. Now, we need to actually insert this where we have 0 0.01 here. So that means our new equation becomes 10 to the power of negative 2 all to the power of x and this equals 11. Now let's make use of this identity. If you have a to the power of n, all to the power of n, this equals a to the power of n times n. So if we multiply these two exponents, we are going to have 10 to the power of negative 2x and this equals 11. Now at this point, in order to solve for x here, we need to introduce log. Log of 10 to the power of negative 2x and this equals log of 11. Now, if you have log of a to the power of b, this equals b times log of a. So this exponent here will actually come behind this log. So we are going to have negative 2x times log of 10 and this equals log of 11. Also, if you have log of a to the base of a, this equals 1. Remember, this log of 10 is to the base of 10. And this log of 11 is to the base of 10 as well. So that means since this is log of 10 to the base of 10, we are going to have 1. We are now going to have negative 2x times 1. And this equals log of 11. Now, if you multiply this by 1, we are going to have negative 2x equals log of 11. Now, let's go ahead and solve for x by dividing both sides by negative 2. Divide this by negative 2. So what will happen is negative 2 will eliminate negative 2. And we have x equals log of 11 divided by negative 2. We can as well rewrite this as negative 1 over 2 times log of 11. So let's proceed. Now, if you have a times log of b, this actually equals log of b to the power of a. So let's apply this identity right here. That means we are going to have x equals log of 11 to the power of negative 1 over 2. Now also, if you have a to the power of negative n, this equals 1 divided by a to the power of n. So if we actually apply this identity right here, here we have 11 to the power of negative 1 over 2. That means 11 to the power of negative 1 over 2 equals 1 divided by 11 to the power of 1 over 2. And this actually equals 1 divided by square root of 11. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to simply rationalize this. We have 11 square root of 11 divided by square root of 11. So this will give us square root of 11 divided by square root of 11 times square root of 11. We have 11. So let's go ahead and insert this where we have 11 to the power of negative 1 over 2. So that means we are going to have x equals log of root of 11 divided by 11. So let's work with this. Now, if you also have log of a divided by b, this equals log of a minus log of b. So that means we are going to have x equals log of root of 11 minus log of 11. Now, if you make use of your calculator, we are going to have log of root of 11 equals 0 0.5. 
0.207 and log of 11 equals we are going to have 1.0414 all in four decimal places so that means our x equals 0 0.5207 minus 1.0414 so from here we have x equals if you subtract 1.0414 from this we are going to have negative 0 0.5207 in four decimal places as well so this is the value of x now the next thing we are going to do is to check if this value actually satisfies the equation. Now recall the problem we had 0 0.01 to the power of x equals 11. That means if we insert these values for x here, we are simply going to have 0 0.01 to the power of negative 0 0.5207. This should give us 11. And if you make use of your calculator, you are simply going to have, if you type in this, you are going to have 11.0000 and other numbers here. So we can actually approximate this to be 11. And this equals 11. So that means this shows that the answer that we got, which is negative 0.5207 is actually very correct. So that is it for the video. Thank you and goodbye.